Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are back here at the Kennedy Space Center sitting on the launch pad with Yegor Komirkov as he is sitting atop a brand new rocket. Now this is the Omega 2 uh, LHB. I fixed some of the issues with the first stage including adjusting the fuel, getting the enough in there. I also swapped out the one central core engine of this with four of the E1 engines, so we've got a surplus of plus three engines on that first stage. Uh, other than that, it is completely untouched. We are just waiting for our relative inclination to the moon to fall to something a little more tolerable, uh, less than a degree, ideally, less than a quarter of a degree would be best. Oh, not physics time warp. Lots of pogoing there on the launch pad. So, okay. That's not falling very fast at all. All right, there we go. 0.27. All right. Throttle set to full. SAS engaged. Ignition sequence start. The ignition looks good. Insufficient avionics, as per usual. It's something we're quite used to. Anyway, Yegor is the first crewed space flight since our last um, accident. And he is again going to attempt to do a lunar flyby and then a swift return with a heat shield we haven't tested and a command pod that's never actually been flown. We flew a test bed on it and tried to do a re-entry. That was a different heat shield. Other than that, it was pretty much the same. But uh, the math says that we should be able to make it all the way to the moon, uh, do a flyby, and come back without too much issue, hopefully, uh, unlike last time we tried to do this. But this is our return to crewed spaceflight, finally. Uh, we're all sitting here hoping that it goes well for Yegor. He's a good pilot, after all, as we saw him on our, our sightseeing mission. Well, not really a mission, but our little tour of uh, the great southwest, Texas, bits of Mexico, Arizona, New Mexico, and California, where he was able to safely land twice. Very impressive. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and speed through the rest of this launch, provided nothing absolutely horrendous happens, in which case I will obviously jump back and let you know. But, um, anyway, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys all safely in orbit. had two engines fail. It's probably for the best. I was about to try to cut them off. There goes a third, a fourth. I thought I timed this correctly. Alright, the stage is about to burn out. There it is. Sep, ignition. Yeah, now we're 0.62 degrees off. We're going to try to adjust some of that inclination and hope that we can keep this mission on pace. Well, back to the ex expedited view.
Well, all right. Uh, that was kind of unexpected. We don't have any ignitions left on these engines, so we're just going to go ahead and ditch the rest of that stage. But we did make it to orbit, 258 by 156, on our second stage. That's... That's pretty awesome. I'd have to say. Uh, okay, so our RCS thrusters are responding. Good. Just nudge ourselves away from that stage just a bit. Not a big deal. And then we'll start plotting our node for the moon. I'm really excited. This is the first time we've ever had that the entirety of that third stage available to us for a transfer. This is way better than expected. And, but unfortunately, our node is going to be after periapsis before ap apogee. So it means we'll be slowing down. It's not going to be a very efficient maneuver. And, well, we want to come up behind the moon. Or we want to let the moon come up behind us so that we swoop behind it. Not necessarily behind it. Uh, <laughs> we want to be in the moon's orbit before the moon is so that it pulls us down to us, retrograde relative to its own orbit, causing us to slow down. I hope that made sense. Yes, something just like th that. Because then, without any further adjustments, we've got a pretty good periapsis. We can actually tighten that up a bit, maybe? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, our flyby does have to be within 20... I forgot. Um... Oh, hey, if we stay in orbit for a day, we get uh, some money. I'm probably not going to worry about this just yet. Include lunar flyby, altitude below 5 million. So, we have to stay below 5 million, or we have to encounter and be below 5 million. So let's... yeah. Damn it. Of course not. That would be easy. We're at like 10 times that amount. So what do we have to do? Not very efficient. Yeah, come in faster, unfortunately. Whoa. Alright, well, we're going to have to make other adjustments because that is unacceptable. Entirely. But that's, uh,. I guess that's kind of the trajectory we want, right? That's retrograde to its orbit? It is. I don't know why it's flinging us out so hard. Maybe that gravity assist there is what's flinging us out. Well, uh, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, I have to disable your HTP, don't I? Yes. Although, really, we have... No, oh, I... Adjusted that, didn't I? Let's see, we had so much hydrazine in there. That was the test bed, I guess? No. Or maybe it's that we have gobs of hydrazine in here. Yeah, 713. We can go ahead and use some of that. Although, really, it's intended to make orbital maneuvers once the rest of this has been ditched, just in case you find yourself stranded and on a really bad trajectory. Which... We might. You never know. Alright, no, it's in 17 minutes. Let's activate these by hand. It does not reflect on our burn time. What's our total delta V out of that stage? 1300, we've got 3146. Not too shabby. Alright.
Oh, I warped right past it. I'm stupid. We need Ullage. Come on. And they're lit! We are moving. Alright. Do a comms check. Comms are good. We learn nothing new. So, this will probably be a long, long burn. I totally forgot I should have been laying on the pedal for that other stage. All kinds of hydrazine there we didn't even use. Alright. Under the throttle now of our service propulsion motor, the uh, Apollo uh, service module engine. Not a whole lot of oomph behind this thing. I'll say, yeah, what's our thrust to weight ratio? 0.31 telling us we'll have nine more minutes on this burn. Perhaps we will. Meantime, though, that's a pretty picture. I don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> Alright, well, we're within 1.4 meters per second. That gets us nothing. Like, literally nothing. That gets us nothing, nothing. Uh oh. Um, yeah, it looks like our really long burn time has done just enough to screw us up entirely. So let's see what we need to do to fix that. Okay, now we're talking. Just a little bit of slowing down. Is that within 5? No, that's within 12. 6. 6. Four. Good enough. All right. Um, Thirteen point eight meters per second. That's not that bad, really. We're gonna make it a little early because of Mr. Oberth's wonderful effects. All right. Ease it in. Come on. Alright, we're actually doing better. 3.6 million, and we'll have to make an adjustment, obviously, in orbit. And what would that do for us? Keep us from leaving the system, that puts us in orbit. Going that way. And then what happens if we put another maneuver here? 
We leave entirely, don't we? Oh, yeah. With the quickness. All right, well, we'll have to figure the rest of this out uh, later on. Probably in our next episode. So, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Uh, I'll leave you with this beautiful bit of imagery. So, uh, I will see all of you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it. I'll see you later.